Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land. Please abide in you get the Rift Plus. That's not the right save file. You gotta go to this save file. Uh, six runs in a row. It's a start. 4C3A FK7G. Stats are actually amazing. If you ignore HP, stats are incredible. But still very, very good. And, uh, usually, what do you think the odds are of getting HP on the first two floors? I would say it's like, it's gotta be close to a 50% chance. It might even be 60, but it might be 45, you know what I mean? We also have a huge benefit if we end up like, like if we fight Steven, for example, we can just yeet uh, our sacrificial altar immediately. And, uh, it should be... A sizable get for us. This is just a scary room because of the champions here. In a bit, we're gonna be stable, I think. We have a better chance to be stable at least. Then we can start to talk about how things are going, what day of the week is it, etc, etc. Just want to see what's in our item room first. And then we can move on. Nah, no more keys. A bomb is like a huge... Uh, point of leverage for us because we could get uh, we could blow up Wheel of Fortune, get resources, get something else out of it. Like we could blow up uh, it next to you know that tarot card up there, maybe get some value. You get the idea. I mean, you don't need me to tell you how to play Isaac. I will say I might need you to tell me how to play Isaac because this is like the largest floor without having encountered an item room yet. <laughs> but it always uh, like. Things always seem bigger when you don't know when they're gonna end, right? I always feel that way about music. Like, the first time you listen to a song, even if the song is only like, you know, three and a half minutes long... Let's go. What did I tell you? Even if the song is only like three and a half minutes long, it always, uh, feels longer... The first time you listen to it, than any other time. I think it's because you don't know what's coming next, you know? I can live with this. This this is a pretty good turn of events. I will say, I just, to be honest with you, I just don't really like, um, the, uh, hold on. Hold the front door. I'll try this. I don't really like anti-gravity more. It's not even necessarily that I think it's bad. I just think it's like... Sometimes it's bad, and it, it doesn't improve the funness of our run. So let's uh, let's just keep moving here. Um, you know, you listen to a song, you're like, wow, this song's really good. It feels like it's taking forever to end, right? In a good way. Then the next time you listen to it, it's over before you even know it, you know? Because you know what beats are coming, you know? First time, you're like, oh my god, what's she gonna say next? Got the whole world asking how I does that. Next time, you're like, it's over by the time she says, uh, I can hold it down like I'm teaching lessons in physics. You should want a bad what like me. That's right, I'm talking about Iggy Azalea's Fancy. <laughs> I still, look, I think Fancy is a fun song. Is it a good song? No, I would not necessarily feel comfortable saying that. But I still laugh every time I think about it. Iggy Azalea having to write the lyric, got the whole world X and how I does that. Like, can you... I just can't put myself in her shoes when she writes the lyric. <laughs> like, I, it's just... It's it's inspirational. I don't know how you get to that line. I would It would never dawn on me to write that line. Got the whole world X and how it does that. It's, it's written like... It's Lewis Carroll. I respect it immensely. Uh, so we, in my opinion, should fight the boss first. See if maybe there are some sack altar plays here. Anyway. It's crazy. I, I know I've, I've used fancy for this exact analogy before, or this exact comparison before, but I'm sure a lot of people listening to this, or at least some people are like, man, I haven't thought of that song in forever. That's a song from like when I was in middle school. And I'm like, dude, that's a song from when I looked exactly the same as I look right now. <laughs> I, I look a little bit older for sure. Got uh, you know a couple of gray hairs in the in the beard on the head. I have no idea to be honest because it doesn't grow fast or thick enough for me to really uh, see any change. Um, but yeah, that that song. It, it honestly, if you told me that it, I know it came out in 2014, but if you told me 
it came out, uh, you know, three years ago, I'd be like, yeah. If you, call, if you told me it came out ten years ago, I would be like, sure, time flies. I've lost all perception of, uh, of popular music's uh, release schedule. How long ago did that song that goes, uh, Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. When did, when did, that was like 2015. I, I think I only know that because it was, it was on the radio uh, 1,400 times a day the month that Kate and I bought this car. So it, it's, it's locked in the memory banks <laughs> as a result. Oh, there were two dudes here. We got lucky there. By the way, you might be like, NL, why didn't you take, uh, well, first off, it looks like a secret room, but maybe not. NL, why didn't you take, uh, contract from, not contract from below, missing page two. Well, it, uh, does nothing for us and is garbage and, uh, would put us on zero HP, thus rendering us incapable of taking deals with the future or, you know, alternatively using our red heart for anything productive, like, for example, if there's a... You know, an arcade with a blood bank on this floor, it would be very nice for us to be able to use that and we wouldn't feel as comfortable doing so. Let's go. If uh, we didn't have that, uh, but mostly it's the fact that it's bad and uh, I'm almost offended that it was even offered. If that answers your question. Now, little cowardice, but I, I like the map. The map for me is a nice quality of life improvement. And to be honest, our damage is totally fine right now, and, you know, it stands to probably get better. So I'm not really sweating much at all right now. So today's a Thursday. I normally don't do too much recording on Thursday, but I had... Oh, okay. I had one of those days um, where you want to wake up, you know? Like, not, I'm not saying most of my days are not like that. I'm making a reference to the Limp Biscuit song, uh, Break Stuff, where he says it's one of those days where you don't want to wake up. Today was one of those days I woke up half an hour before my alarm. And I was like, I don't really feel like going back to bed. Just got up and uh, I, I have some recording time today. So I'm I'm excited. I had a, a productive night last night. Not to say it wasn't relaxing, but... Uh, got some editing done, which is still kind of a foreign sentence to say. Played some Frostpunk for the channel. Very fun game so far. This is not productive. Hold on, this could be good. Mm, not good at all. Also insulting. Um, but I finally, I had one episode of The Expanse left, and I hadn't watched it for like two and a half weeks. I don't know why I was putting it off. I think it was just, it wasn't like, oh my god, when I finish it, it's over. It's like, I don't really feel like I'm in the mood to watch, you know, the season finale of a television program right now. Last night I just watched it, and I was like, you know, if I don't watch it, I'm never going to watch it. And then the new season is going to come out. That's is more than one way to eat a Reese's there. Um, so I think I'm doing it. I'm happy with the damage upgrade. Uh, dude, and we immediately got a, uh, a space bar item of merit. I think we definitely want a Diplopia here. Um, you might disagree, but I think getting a free Humbling Bundle... ...and possibly being able to buy... I mean, this is ignoring the Spirit Arts and stuff associated, but... ...also potentially being able to buy another Humbling Bundle? I don't even know if they stack, but... ...whether they do or they don't, uh, this is a good return on our investment. But I, I, I saw the future. Okay, uh, well, honestly, some of the easiest decisions I've had to make in a long time there. Um, I was like, if I don't watch this episode, I'm never going to watch the season finale. Then I'm flashing forward, it's like November 2020, season 5 of The Expanse comes out, but I'm like, eh, I never finished season 4, but I also, I don't, I've lost sight of, uh, like, who's Clay's Ashford? I don't know, I don't know who any of these people are anymore. I just never would have finished the show at all, and that's uh, that would have been a shame, because honestly, it's one of the best shows on, uh, I don't want to say on TV, because it's not on television, but you know what I mean. Consider this, I mean, I'm the, you know, 10 millionth person to say this. If you haven't watched The Expanse, I would recommend watching The Expanse. I think it's a great show. 
It really, I don't think it's as good as early seasons of Game of Thrones, but it gives me the same vibe. I mean, I, I would say it's it's like a cut below like prime Game of Thrones, but and I don't bring that up just because it's, you know, relatable. I bring it up because, you know, they're, I, I, I recognize the books that they're based on were written by like George R. R. Martin's protege or whatever. I think the show could have probably hit that level if it if the first few seasons didn't have the sci-fi channel budget but anyway regardless <laughs> it's it's kind of it's an ensemble show where like the people who are main characters in one season might not necessarily be the main characters in the next season if you know what i mean so i think there's definitely a lot of similarities there but i think it Enough of it has definitely hit that same kind of like spot in the cerebral cortex where I'm like, yo, this is really is quite good. Would recommend heartily. Especially if you already have Amazon Prime Video. You already know my my opinion on, on where we're at in the streaming wars. I'm waiting on more from Netflix. I'm not trying to insult the Netflix organization. It could be worse. Can I, I, I'm going to take that, by the way. Can I tell you? So we have a system in uh, Canada. It's not, I guess it's a distribution platform. It's called Crave. I would consider it like analogous to American Hulu, you know? And I know, yes, I understand. There's too many of these systems now. But anyway, upvotes to the left. Um, to get access, like we pay for HBO because I'm 55 years old. And I love a high quality non-advertisement supported content plus they got some good stuff i mean did you see the uh the documentary about the mcdonald's monopoly uh fraud anyway if not check it out on hbo go which i would consider analogous to canada's show me no i but anyway where was <laughs> i forgot what i was talking about so as a result of ha of paying for hbo we get access to something as well called Crave. Crave is, you know, it, it's got a lot of uh, shows on it that aren't on Netflix and Amazon Prime. Like, for example, it's got all the HBO shows. Like, you can watch uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. You can watch, I don't know, Ray Donovan. It's also got stuff like Nathan for you and, you know, other stuff that I've been interested in for a while but haven't been able to find a good opportunity to watch. So I was like, okay. Uh, obviously, I would love to get... Sackboy here, but I was like, okay, well, let me link like my TV account to my Crave account. So here's how it works. If you pay for Crave via the website, you just log in with the credentials you use to register for your account. Unfortunately, I don't find myself in that camp because I signed up via the boomer service known as cable television. So it says, if you are a cable television customer, please select your cable provider from a list of, you know, 500 Canadian cable providers. So I scroll down, I find mine, I click on it. It says, okay, what province do you live in? I click on British Columbia. It says, okay, because you are a, this customer that lives in British Columbia, you have to use the credentials that are basically given to you by signing into your account on their website in order to validate that you are legally able to watch this entertainment program. I said, okay, no problem. I go to the my uh, cable provider's app, and I sign in and they say, no, 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 you're not supposed to sign in here. What you have to do is make, I know you have an account with us already. What you have to do, though, is use the credentials from that account to sign in to uh, a new app that is specific to our cable platform. And I say, okay, well, I mean, it's getting a little ridiculous. I, I feel like there are probably much easier ways for me to have done this and still be guilt-free considering that I'm, you know, legally paying for the content to begin with. But whatever, you know, it's just one more step. They just keep hitting you with the one more step, right? So I download the app that's associated not with my cable provider, but with the cable portion of what my cable provider provides for me. I know what I said. Uh, and then it says, what province do you live in? So I click on my province and then it says log in. Um, and I try to log in. It says you don't have an account for this particular service yet. So I say, okay, I register for an account, link it to my cable account. I go back and it says, uh, okay, please log in. I type in my username, I type in my password. It loads up a blank page that says something went wrong, please retry later. And I said, you know what? <laughs> 
I don't think I want to support the service anymore. We could have per throat again, I guess. That might have been that might have been worth it, but uh, just good God, I I it it burns me up, dude. Not really. Like I'm not actually upset because there's like infinite content out there to watch, but I wanted to watch Nathan for you, and I paid for it. Then I like went to, you know, I googled like the problem and people were like, yeah, this has been a problem for a long time. I spent an hour on phone with support trying to fix it. And I was like, you know what? I'm just not willing to do that. I would rather just pretend to have watched the show and say, haha, yeah, I loved it. What was my point in all of this? Well, you know, you can, or I can be annoyed with Netflix. I can be annoyed with Amazon Prime, though I'm not really. Um... But good God, some, like, particularly, like, these old guard companies out there still not, not getting it. What is this, the Iowa caucus? Like, don't make an app for something if the app is not able to accomplish what the, you know, the basic function the app's supposed to have available to it. If it, if it can't actually, and I, this is, you know, kind of on me, because on the Google Play Store, the, uh... My cable company's app had like a 1.7 out of 5, but I was like, I don't know. Have you ever read user reviews? <laughs> I don't I don't I don't trust user reviews on the Google Play Store at all times. But I this one I should have perhaps uh it's not like I'm not gonna download it, you know. I mean I'm I'm forced, it's a monopoly. But like just good god. I get that why you'd want to have an app, it's more convenient, but it's only more convenient. If it actually works. And that's about all I got going on, really. Watch the last episode of The Expanse. Very good. Good show. Looking for another show? Not really. Not really. I should watch The Good Place, though. It just finished, and I, and I should watch Watchmen as well, but... I, I respect the show that finishes, you know? Instead of ends. I know that sounds weird, but I respect the speaker who wraps up in the time allotted when they're done having something to say instead of somebody who rambles until they fill the time limit and doesn't get to say, thanks for watching my TED Talk. I don't know where I'm going with this. TED Talks are on the brain ever since I made that uh, which of my friends would win in a fight video. Which, by the way, I'm so glad, because you never know when you come out with this stuff if people are going to get it. Not that it's, like, cerebral, but sometimes. I'm sure, like, you know, if you're, like, an artist, or, like, let's let's say a filmmaker. You make a movie, you're like, I get what I'm trying to say here. But I don't know if it's going to be, like, universally understood. Might as well try it, right? Then it comes out. And people are like, The Room! Is it a comedy? Is it a drama? I don't know. No stars. And you're like, I'm fed up with this world. But I kind of felt that same way. Because the whole point of it was that, like it was it was a very simple sort of like one note joke. The joke was pretending that it was a very realistic analysis of which of my friends would win in a fight. And then instead... Uh, it's mostly just an opportunity for me to say three nice things about them and then poke fun at them lightly and then pump their tires a little bit. I'm glad people found it to be uh, as enjoyable to watch as I did to make, though. I oh, we can't take both. Just stuff like that's on the mind, you know? I think, like, for the time being, I'm kind of done with tier lists. I think the tier list idea petered out. Um, and I, I don't mean it in a bad way. I think, we, you know, we got our mileage out of it. And, you know, it's, it's something that we, when we're strapped, you know, for ideas, we can always come back and be like, ah, you know what? I don't really know what kind of, like, the weird content to make this week. Why don't we just do, like, one tier list of, like, you know, 1990s boy bands or something like that. But I don't want to make the tier list, like, a once a week sort of thing. So I was thinking, what else can I do? And I thought, this this idea just kind of popped in my head when I was in the shower, and I went for it, and uh, it was well-received. So I appreciate your uh, your support on that. I did have some people, um... 
I wouldn't call them upset necessarily, but they were like, yeah, but when are you gonna make like a real video of who would win in a fight? And I'm like, never. <laughs> Cause these people are my friends. Uh, by the way, we're gonna skip item room and shop to hopefully get something out of boss rush here. Not necessarily a popular opinion, but with an Awaz rune in the pocket, I kind of like it. And we've already been here, but I don't know. Maybe we could have gotten a Spirit Heart if we needed one. I don't know. wasn't worth it in the end. Parasitoid Tears is pretty good. Honestly, I think that's more valuable than the Relic right now. Because we're so stacked on uh, on HP. But yeah, I don't want to... I mean, I honestly... And th this is how you know I'm honest. Do I think it would cause, like, a fight? No. I don't. Do I think that everybody would be 100% cool with it if I was like, ah, oh, this person would probably... You know, this person is your physical superior. Probably not. I, I think I think there might be some hurt feelings, so why, why cross the line, you know? Instead, I used it as an opportunity to compliment people that I uh, enjoy the company of and enjoy working with. Which I think is a, a much better outcome. And then... I'm thinking, you know, we could do like I, I've had some ideas percolating around in the old noggin. Like we could we could make characters for uh like team unity members in, in like a wrestling game and then let the AI duke it out or something like that. We could pop them into like a Hunger Games style simulator and you know, just narrate what's happening. But I would No, I would I mean I would I would be I'm not gonna say I would be offended, but I would probably, like, if, if Bear made a video that was like, who would win in a fight, and was like, oh, Rob would kick Ryan's butt. I just don't, eh, I guess we do want the HP, we're not gonna get another deal, so. I wouldn't be offended, but, you know, I might pop into the Discord and be like, what were you saying about me? Like, excuse me, let me plead my, why are you, like, trying to infer or, you know, like, tell your audience that I'm like a little baby? I don't know, maybe I wouldn't. I just, I'm treating others the way I want to be treated. <laughs> and it's also like, people are like, you know, where's Hafu in the video? And I'm like, Hafu and I, we haven't done a stream together in like a year. We talk now and then, but I don't want to just out of nowhere be like, oh, by the way, Hafu, I made, I put you in like a video of like, who would win in a fight. I'm sure she would be cool with it, but... You know, if, if someone that, you know, I hadn't worked with in a while put me in a video like that and was like, Hey, just so you know, check it out. I might be like, uh... That's your right, but also... <laughs> I hope you, you handled this properly. <laughs> it's like if you're not in on the joke, the joke seems like it's at your expense, you know? But anyway. The whole purpose of it was was to have laughs without offending people. And I think, honestly, mission accomplished. Yeah, I, I just wish you wouldn't go into the corner. It's the perfect technique against me because I shoot circles, and the circle has a necessary gap in the corner. <laughs> in many ways, a circle is a square with the corners cut off, so... I'm like a DVD screensaver right now. I can't, uh, I can't get to you. Well, this has definitely been an easy run. We didn't do a whole heck of a lot to make this run better. Like, oh, that's great. Um, I think we'll just take this and perthro everything else. Like, we, we really didn't have too much impact on this run, if you know what I mean. I mean, I, I mean what I said, I guess. The only thing that we really did was, was turn Sack Altar into, like, uh, into something functional. And even then, it was just Dark Matter. Like, it's not... It didn't make the difference on this run. So this one was pretty much uh, preordained by the Seed to be victorious, unless we took a lot of damage on the first floor to those champions, but we did not. So we have seven in the books, and, and we're putting together a relatively nice, like, little streak here. Nothing too impressive. Like, it still blows my mind. I, I, every time I talk with Simvicta, there's like a 25% chance I bring up. I'm like, how many wins do you have in a row again? And he's like, oh, like 660. And I'm like, what? <laughs> 
And it made me laugh because like the other day he was talking and he's like, man, I have the worst luck in Isaac. And I was like, well, maybe, but you also have 660 wins in a row. Then I thought about it and I was like, you know what? He probably does actually, like, anyone who plays a lot of Isaac probably does have a claim to having some of the worst luck in Isaac. I, I think on an objective, like, empirical level, Sinvicta is probably right that he is unlucky in Isaac. Maybe not less lucky than the average person, but, you know, we've we've both played so many runs that I'm sure we stand a chance to have seen some of the most unlucky runs in, like, Isaac, uh, possibility, you know? So I, I actually, at first I was like, how unlucky can you be if you're winning so often? Then I was like, dude, if he's playing, like, you know, a, maybe, like, ten runs a week for four years... He's probably seen some stuff. <laughs> I think I think he is correct. I think he, I think we're both amongst the least lucky Isaac players in history. Also, probably amongst the luckiest Isaac players in history. Just again, as a result of the law of large numbers. But anyway, I digress. We got through this one real quick. I'm gonna do another one for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you wanna see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.